Hey guys and welcome to another video, I'm Isil TPW and today I'm going to show you how to install a resource pack for Minecraft. But first before we kick off, I just want to say thank you so much for all of your support, you guys have been fantastic. And if you're not a subscriber, I'd really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button and if you like this video to hit that like button as well on the video, I'd really appreciate that. So let's get going. Back in August when I made a video how to play and install Minecraft FTB mod pack and Twitch cursor launcher. In that video I promised that I would show you how to install the resource pack for Minecraft. So the resource pack that I use is the Sortex Fanver resource pack. And I'm going to show you what that looks like now in Minecraft. First before I show you how to install the resource pack, let's have a look at the difference between the two. On the left you have Minecraft without a resource pack and on the right you have Minecraft with the Sortex Fanver resource pack. As you can see, the difference between the two, there's a lot of difference in the textures, the brightness of the resource pack. Everything looks a little bit more realistic and a little less Minecrafty, if that makes sense. The trees look a lot better, the grass and textures look a lot better, and there's many different resource packs. The animals in the resource pack that I'm showing you now uh, look much better as well, look a lot more realistic, a little bit cartoony. Or it's, after all, it is Minecraft. Okay, so let's download a resource pack. Before we download the resource pack, there's a couple things that you need to know. First off, the resource pack must match your Minecraft. So if you're playing 1.7.10, which I am on this uh, version of Minecraft, or if you're playing 1.10.2 or 1.12, then you need to make sure that you have the right resource pack. I'm using the Twitch launcher and playing FTB Infinity Evolved. The process is pretty much the same for any game and where you put it. What I mean by that is, in your Minecraft folder, you will have an area that says mods. In this case, in my folder, I'm going to Minecraft, I'm going to instances, because I've got a couple of instances of Minecraft. I've got FTB Departed, FTB Infinity Evolved, and Sprout Explore for More. These are three mod packs, two of them are from Feed the Beast, and Sprout is from the Phoenix Lodge. So I'm going to go to Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved here. In here, you're going to see there's a folder called Resource Packs. If you don't have that folder, then you can create one and keep it as one word, resource packs. But it should be in your Minecraft folder as is. You don't need Forge to install this. So let's continue. The resource pack I'm looking for is quite specific because there's not a lot for modded Minecraft. But if you wanted, you could go Minecraft. And there's a ton of websites out there for Minecraft. Planet Minecraft I find is a very good website that you can use for looking for resource packs. Said you'll need to pick your game version. Mine being 1.7.10. Mine is slightly different because I'm playing modded Minecraft. So if you're playing 1.10 versions, it's gonna give you a whole variety of texture packs in here and shaders. You choose the one that best suits you. Just make sure to read the details of what you're looking for. And remember that if it doesn't work out for you, it may be a little bit of trial and error, then just uninstall resource pack and try a different one. So as I'm playing modern Minecraft, I'm going to use the FTB packs and the ones that I'm going to use are the Sortex Fanver. And I'm going to click in here to the Sortex website and I'm going to go to the download section here. Now I'm using the course slash Twitch launcher, but I'm actually looking for the Feed the Beast mod packs. If, you'll say, if I click in here in the curse, it's not going to give you the options for Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. I'm using 1.7.10 and you can see here that it, it doesn't have a resource pack for Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved in here. The reason being is that the packs are different depending on what mod packs are in each game. These are specifically made for Feed the Beast and I have it in version 1.10 and as you can see here there's no versions available. 1.7 and I've got Feed the Beast Infinity and Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. Dire Wolf, Resurrection and Unstable, there's also 1.6 and 1.4 downloads. But the one I'm looking for is Feed Beast Infinity Evolved and I'm just going to hit the click and download button here. Before I move on to that, there's actually two different mod packs, there's the Fanver and there's the Invictus. There's a slight variation in the look and feel and I just prefer the Fanver. But that's a personal choice, you can check them both out, they don't take that long to download and install and you can have a look at both of them. I've done that and I just prefer the Fanver one. So I'm gonna go click the install here, our download now. So I'm gonna go click on the download. It's a 201 megabit folder, so it's not that big and it shouldn't take that long to download depending on your internet speed. So I'm gonna wait for this to be down and I'll be right back in a minute. 
So that's downloaded now. So you want to click on the file and show in folder. It should download to your downloads folder. You need to right click. You need to have an unzipping tool. I use 7-zip. I find it a very good program to use. And you just click on that and extract the fanver. So you want to do this because otherwise you're going to take all of the assets out onto a folder, but you want a folder that Minecraft can actually read. So extract the fanver FTB infinity evolves for this case. And that's just creating a root folder for the mod pack. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to copy that folder with all of its files and I'm going to put that into the Minecraft folder. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that. So now that's extracted all of the files into the download folder. You can see here it's got all of the assets in here and if I click in here there's a lot of mods in here so that's why that file is so big for this resource pack. But what we need to do then is you can right click and copy and then we go and find our Minecraft folder. So you need to find out where your Minecraft folder is. Mine is in a slightly different place than yours. Uh, yours will probably be in your roaming folder. If you want to Google where's my Minecraft folder, you can do so and it will help you bring that. Mine is in my curse folder and it's on my C drive, it's in my user file, it's in documents and then in curse. Curse is the launcher that I use for launching modern Minecraft. I'm going to click on the Minecraft folder. In this instance here, and pardon the pun, I have instances. You will not have this. You will be brought straight into your Minecraft folder if you're not using modded Minecraft. But in this case, I'm using Infinity Evolved. And in here, I have my resource packs. And I'm literally just going to paste that file in here. This should only take a short while to take the files from the download folder into the resource pack folder. Okay, so that's transferred all of the files into resource pack folder now. So once that's been copied in, you just need to open up your Minecraft. I've got mine open here now. And I'm using the Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved through the Curse Launcher. If you're using vanilla Minecraft or any other mod pack, then don't worry about this, it's in the same place. You need to go into Options, and down the bottom left here you'll see Resource Packs. If you're not seeing your Resource Pack over here, over here on the left, you just click on the button down here that says Open Resource Pack, and that'll take you to your re Resource Pack folder. If you've got your Resource Pack folder in there, then it should automatically show up here. If there's a problem with that resource pack, with the version of Minecraft you're using, it will show up here and it will not allow you to install it. Once you see this resource pack option over here, you'll see when I hover over the picture, there's a little play button. You just need to click that and it pops it into Minecraft. You can take it out or you can pop it back in again. You leave the default option on Minecraft and you keep the both of them there. You then click done. This will take a minute or two depending on the size of the resource pack. Because I'm using modded, this takes a little bit longer. So the more mods you have and the more assets that are within the resource pack folder will determine the amount of time it takes to install the resource pack. But it should be no more than a few minutes. As you can see, this brings you straight back into the options screen and you can see a big difference between the old Minecraft and the new Minecraft. You can see I've got this wooden effect here and it looks a lot smoother and you've got the brick background here as well. I bring it back in, even this screen looks a lot smoother than it does with the without the resource pack. And if I want to go into single player here, I'm going to create a new world. And this is just a quick test to see that it's all installed and a-okay. And awesome! <laughs> we have spawned in a mushroom biome. <laughs> But you can see, guys, that the um, the mushrooms, the cows, the land, looking so much different, so much brighter. And do we have the sun? Yes, we have the sun, and you can see that it's a round sun. So that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that it's helpful for you and installing resource packs. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment down below, and I'll be delighted to answer any questions that you may have. I am going to make another video in the future of how to use schematics in Minecraft and how to download and install the schematics. These are fantastic and be used for building fantastic structures within Minecraft, whether that being creative or in survival. And I'm going to show you how to do this in survival. And if you did like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, go hit that subscribe button now and go check out more videos on my channel. I've got Minecraft, PUBG and other games there, guys. So. Really hope that you enjoy my videos and thank you very much. I hope you enjoy this and I shall see you in the next video. Bye guys.